Don't ask questions in good neighbor. Better for everyone that way. Silver Shroud. Come on, tell me your secret identity. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Lady, I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. Running from something? Welcome home. Fred? Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again, or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stopped using, you could focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Oh man, someone new! You need some jet, man? Home-brewed? Reasonable prices? Let's see what you have. Everything's been tested, personally. Start, let's skip to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. Can you tell me a bit about this hotel? Oh, why do they always have questions? The Hotel Rexford used to be a grand establishment. We even had guests that didn't throw up all over the floor. But now the only people who come by are looking for somewhere to nurse a hangover or shoot up Kim's. So, Still want a room? Who owns this place? Mr. Morowski. Oh, you should have seen him in his day. This place used to be flowing with high-end Kim's beautiful clients and, oh, the parties. But now he just stews in the back office and disgraces his parents' memory. I swear, if they knew how far he's fallen, they'd die all over again. So why don't you rent a room before I get worked up? Tell me more about this Murawski character. Oh, why bother? He's worthless. The other big names caught him with his pants down, and now he just has this ratty hotel. That's the way Good Neighbor operates. The strong make it to the top, until someone stronger kicks him down. Now are you buying this room, or not? 
Tell me a bit about yourself, Claire. I have been working in this hotel for over 40 years, and this is not how I imagined spending my retirement. Now are you done being nosy or are you getting a room? I'll think about it. It's the decor, isn't it? Hey there. You knew around good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? Seems like my kind of place. Bit of a rough town, but beats cowering behind the walls at Diamond City, that's for damn sure. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I'm usually here or drinking that swill Charlie slinging at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. What's the job? Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. Well, with all the bombs and all. Done some asking around, and I think it might still be intact. Which is where you come in. What's the catch? The usual. Place it's in as an empty. Might have to shoot your way in. Think you can get a hold of that brewing machine for me? Isn't brewing equipment gonna be kind of... large? Usually it is, but apparently this machine has been miniaturized, so that shouldn't be a problem. Are you gonna take the job? I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. When you leave town, Make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big grain sign. Bring it back here when you're done. 